What's going on, people? It is December 22nd, Wednesday. Um, there's, you know, I got some news for VVS Finance, man. So make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video. We're going to talk about the price action. Uh, you know, obviously, VVS Finance has been dropping drug below the main level we we're talking about here a couple of days ago. And um, uh, let's see what, uh, you know, hopefully the, the news gets you as excited as it got me. And I really think there's a good future for um, VVS Finance in this space. I really think we're still way too early. And, uh, you know, we put out some theories, we put out some, uh, um, um, you know, maybe some projections, uh, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, over time, we'll see, you know, where we right or where we wrong. But so far, so good, in my opinion. So we're going to go through even the actual app on the phone. I just want to show you a couple of things. And um, what else? Also, a couple of uh, projects that um, uh, Crypto.com and VVS is going to launch on VVS um, uh, Finance. So uh, make sure you stay tuned here. And so if you want any, you know, if you want to if you want continued updates on VVS Finance, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, man. Just do whatever you got to do to hop on this train um, uh, with us. So let's get to the um, uh, price. Actually, you know what? Let's just start first with uh, what I wanted to show you on the actual app. So this is the actual app. Uh, on uh, um, uh, crypto.com DeFi wallet, right? So basically here in the bottom, we'll see in the middle, you see uh, dApps. So I'll just show you what I'm talking about. We'll see dApps here, VVS Finance, Kronos Chimp Club, Beefy Finance, which is also another um, uh, swap as well that just got recently integrated. Um, uh, and you can also now stake your VVS there on Beefy um, Finance as well. So make sure you check that out. Nonetheless, you know, you can have access VVS Finance easily. And um, again, you know, all at your fingertips, DeFi at your fingertips and everything is just going as um, as well as uh, projected so far that's for vvs finance if you go to swaps that's the main thing i actually want to talk to you guys about if you go to swap here in the bottom you'll see that let's say if you go to let's say for example if you want to put some sort of a token here you'll see you have chronos you have ethereum we have crypto.org so talk about interoperability right now we have our you know if you have an ethereum wallet um integrated or um, you know um, crypto.com DeFi wallet or we want to switch between different chains no problem all right there at our fingertips and we can easily switch around so that's that's good but the biggest thing i should want to show you is if you go to help here because i want to see how are those payments routed right how what's what are we using basically and um uh, i want to know usually whoever's facilitating that um, swap that's what i'm mainly excited about because that's what's kind of you know for having 10 million plus users on the on the uh, um the crypto.com app that's going to soon start getting introduced to DeFi, and i'm almost certain you know obviously we can't guarantee but i'm almost certain that at one point we're going to start seeing crypto.com advertising just vvs finance DeFi, and we saw that you can go on their twitter they already started talking about that so our thesis that vvs finance is going to be backed by crypto.com guess what we're good to go on that. So that's definitely something that's exciting. But nonetheless, so we go here on uh, help.crypto.com. I really highly recommend if you guys want to get to know what's happening on the Kronos network and all that, check out the um, uh, this website. It literally talks to you about everything. So anything you don't really know anything about, help.crypto.com, all the knowledge you really need. And no, I'm not getting paid by crypto.com. I'm just excited for this um, as an investment for me. So anyways so how do i swap tokens within the crypto.com app so this is what i want to talk about first um so the built-in swap feature in the crypto.com DeFi wallet app is powered by the DeFi swap protocol one inch v3 so if we're you know going through crypto.com DeFi wallet and we're going to swap in some uh, um uh, uh, tokens on ethereum network or whatever the case might be one inch is routing that and it's natively integrated on the app so that's pretty big. We're not going on a website. We're not going on one inch. We're not going. We're just, it's all on your phone and it's integrate. Again, talk about interoperability straight on your phone as well. Um, that's massive in my opinion, man. But not only that, VVS Finance. So it is, it is official. VVS Finance is going to be natively. It's not going to be. It is already natively integrated on the app. And Crypto.com DeFi Wallet is going to use that as a routing mechanism to swap the tokens you want on the Kronos network. So it's going to be the main routing mechanism, the main decentralized exchange, the main automated market maker used by crypto.com. So again, another stamp on the whole, you know, DeFi, VVS Finance or crypto.com. Crypto.com is using it. It's backing it, in my opinion. And whenever we talk about DeFi, whenever crypto.com has to talk about DeFi and crypto in general, 
they have to mention VVS Finance. And uh, again, besides the fact that, you know, all the marketing that I keep talking about, the use case is already there. You're, they're using it. They're developing it with the Cronus Bridge and all that. You guys seen, if you guys remember from the first video I put, it was so convoluted for you to actually, um, uh, you know, transfer VVS Finance, uh, transfer Crow over to the Cronus Betas network and try to, you know, you got to use a bridge and you got to do this and that now right away on the spot um uh, we're uh, we're doing you know we're doing DeFi, man so it's it's pretty exciting but not only that one other thing i want to show you here i'm going to get to the price action so make sure you check the um, you know the video chapters if you just want to switch uh, to the price predictions right away but i really think you really need to watch this so um uh, so what are the uh, what are some networks uh what is it here let's just go up a bit um uh, how many blockchains are supported for DeFi swap so Crypto.com is saying we support swaps on Kronos Beta and Ethereum. We know that. For Kronos Beta, it's VVS Finance. For Ethereum, it's uh, One Inch uh, version 3 and Kronos Beta and the Crypto.org chain for Kronos Bridge. In the future, we plan to support swaps on Binance, Smart Chain, and Polygon. So, um, you know, keep that in mind, man. Binance, Smart Chain, and Polygon. Um, network are coming soon to the crypto.com DeFi app and it's all all of crypto whatever swaps you want to make are all in one place on your phone and not only that people 10, 10 million plus users will get start getting exposed to that so this is what's going to be the main driver for the mainstream in my opinion and I'm really excited for it so um, uh, again I love it, man. I love it. I've been getting excited over and over again. And I really do not care what's been happening with the price action, to be honest with you. But let's just talk about the price action. And also maybe a quick uh, update on Tonic. I think it's called Tectonic. I saw some of you guys had some uh, um, uh, comments on uh, Tectonic uh, coming to uh, VVS Finance or the Kronos chain. Um, I saw a couple tweets by VVS Finance about it. So maybe there's some sort of an airdrop coming or something like that. I'm not sure, but let me know in the comments if you want me to talk about it. I'm doing research on it today as well, so you can actually get to know it um, as well. So let's just switch here to the price action. Talk about the important stuff, man. So um, overall, um, uh, uh, what we had in the previous video I put out, uh, we were somewhere here and we zoomed in um, around this region. Maybe I'll go to the one hour so you can see what I'm talking about. We're somewhere around this region, I believe, and uh, we were talking here that you know this looks like you know after a drop this looks like we have something like this here as soon as we drop below these levels over here we're gonna have a you know we're probably gonna most likely retest this region so now our main thesis and this is the region we're talking about here so if i go to the four hour our main thesis was hey this is, you know, supported, supposed to be some sort of a support zone. Uh, we're going to see some buyers jump in. And, uh, you know, it looks like, um, what do we have here? So December 19th, we dropped below it. And now we're coming back up to retest it specifically at this second. Now, in my opinion, I always like to zoom out, right? So it's it's not a, it's not a huge, um, it's not a huge thing that it's not, it doesn't really take a lot for us to know that, hey, look, everybody was earning so much here on auto vvs at one point it was 32 million percent if you put in whatever amount of money next couple of days man you're you're doubling or tripling or quadrupling the amount of money you put in 100 percent people are going to come and start dumping it on the market however the main thing we were saying before is that i wanted this number to start dropping which now is like kind of fluctuating more because some people are leaving so it's kind of increasing it i guess but um, the biggest thing I'm talking about is that that major, major, you know, we're dumping VVS. We're giving VVS to everybody, everybody's mom and dad and dog. Everybody's getting VVS if they stake it is really subsided a lot. So this is kind of really steamed down a lot. And now we need to look at the price action. Is there, <clears throat> is there more selling in the market happening? I do not think so. You know, we're going to see some sort of movements up and down as we move forward. But my biggest thing was that, hey, this region over here will be the place where we're going to see buyers jump in. Looks like we actually did drop below it. Now we're here. But the main thing I'm actually happy about is that this thing is not in the thousands anymore. It's not in the tens of, tens of thousands anymore because I know a lot of people come in, you know, they just literally uh, kind of um, uh, they look for places to go and farm. They put a million or a couple million dollars in, farm as much as they can at the token, come back here, boom, drop it on everybody, move into the next um, a place that's you know farming with a lot of yield and pre pre presenting or providing a lot of uh, yield to whoever is actually farming. But 
to me, I, I, I see this being, um, it's, it's, it's almost done here, guys. This whole, you know, everybody's getting VVS. The numbers really dropped a lot, in my opinion. And uh, again, what really uh, um, kind of gives me a bit of clarity on this is when I go to analytics. If I go here and I just, um, so ever since November 14th, so if you go here, November 14th, you see it here. If I go here, I don't know if November 14th really shows here, but yeah, uh, let's just see here. This is what we got. This is November, um, yeah, so November 15th, you'll start seeing that this is where the major, you know, dumping, dumpy, dumpy, just start coming into the market because everybody had a, a, a huge amount of VVS and they want to, you know, they want to cash out. However, look at the volume. The volume has been ever dropping and has been really dropping very heavily now yesterday or th yesterday was actually in the 30 million before that 60 million. But we're not talking about 270 million causing this major, major drop. So in my opinion, things are kind of, you know, falling back a bit. Things are kind of th th this this drop is not going to go forever. And then this is obviously represented by the volume when the volume starts to go down. It's telling you that there's less and less people actually trading this and as we start you know this is telling us that sellers are actually leaving the market and compared relatively speaking this is probably this is the lowest volume we had ever since vvs actually um started so this 30 million what do you have here this 30.5 million so we're coming back to levels that you know when when vvs first started coming into the market no one knew about it we're coming back to those levels again so now once crypto.com starts to talk about it and now it's being integrated natively on the app and all those things i really think that sellers are going to be soon leaving the market if not that they already did in my opinion but again guys we need to really see what the market is going to tell us we need to see what the markets you know we need to let the market speak to us first but this cannot go on forever and this validates that theory in my opinion and also the fact that when i go here it's not in the you know people are not getting that much as much as the early you know people that came in and actually just kind of took advantage of the high um yield and high farming rates um i think these guys are going to be really soon out of the market so we just need to see is it going to be this level who knows right and we can never be we can never guarantee anything i can never guarantee it. no one knows what's going on in general but we kind of gauge the market and that's how we should uh be looking at things and specifically with numbers man so when we're talking numbers like that we can't really project much unless we have some concrete examples and concrete um uh, you know theories in my opinion so that's for the price action um that's for the analytics let's see what's gonna happen here guys uh usually when we drop below a, a, an important level like this we're gonna come back up to retest and continue to kind of hover around so i want to see what happens here i'm gonna update you again guys uh the next you know i would say from now moving forward i want to put out a vvs video or crypto.com video every day uh, because i think we're at a pivotal moment and i really want to keep you guys updated i know you guys kind of watch the videos but i kind of have like a couple of days every now and then and uh, that i post the video but now i really want to keep you guys updated more and more um uh, with those videos and uh, so this is for vvs finance again so in summary i think a reversal is coming up soon it's like we said with the analytics and i think you know buyers you know sometimes you're going to start to step in and with the help of the crypto.com's you know um, um uh, marketing and exposing this to the 10 plus 10 million plus users you can only imagine what's going to happen with the price action uh, coming soon here so um uh, yeah uh, i don't want to really i just want to see what's going to happen with this test um uh, retest coming up if this if we fail to you know kind of break above it and if we go to the daily maybe that will uh, show us a bit of a you know look every day has been really you know ever since um we reached that uh, we peaked out here on december 2nd every day has been you know a drop i want to start seeing wicks like this i want to start seeing a wick like this where the candle itself you know this is the actual candle would be something like this the body it would be green and I want to see a wick to the bottom that's pretty clear telling me that, hey, sellers tried to push the price action all the way to the bottom. Buyers rejected it, pushed it above to the open price and actually pushed way further than that. And that, show, that shows us a sign of strength um, in the market. And maybe I'll just show you what I'm talking about here with a uh, hammer candle just so you can actually understand what I'm talking about. So one second here. And you can, guys, you can actually Google this um, uh, as well um, from your end. But this is what a hammer candle is. So this is a hammer candle, right? So we come in here to the bottom. This is it. It usually comes in after a downtrend. After a downtrend, we have a hammer candle coming up. And this is a major, major sign to everybody in the market 
that a reversal is coming up soon especially then we you know we we kind of um, match it with the volume analysis and how that hey we've been dropping a lot and it's a good project i think things are going to start looking good so make sure you you know you look for something like this coming up soon something like this this is what we need to see on uh, printed on the um, vvs finance exchange so let's see what's going to happen man now uh, i guess the last thing was um the holders so if we go and check how many holders are on crypto doc on uh, vvs finance because i remember the last time i made the video it was uh, somewhere close to the fifty one thousand. so if you guys want to know how many people hold the vvs token you go here to tokens you go vvs token you go view on chronos explorer and that's basically the ether scam but for vvs finance uh, for the chronos network sorry now we go here to the top tokens accounts and then um, sorry, not accounts, tokens, and we go all. Then we go and see what VVS token has is 62,000 people. So more and more people are actually, it's been growing. When I first made the video, it was literally in the thousands. And the second video, it was in like 5,000. And then after that, it's been ever, ever growing. 62,000 only. Imagine what 10 million people exposed to this are going to start, um, you know, how these uh, price actions is going to start to develop. So it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Now, the last thing I want to talk about here as um vvs finance talking about tectonic phi so vvs finance was saying uh, we are thrilled to welcome tectonic phi to the chronos family and the vvs platform tectonic phi has uh, partnered uh, with us to launch tonic liquidity pool on vvs dex followed by glitter mine and crystal farms guys the amount of developments that have been happening here in the past um, uh, um uh, four weeks have been crazy developers are working overtime and uh, i love to see it there's no promises there's no hey we're gonna you know we're thinking about this coming up in the next no these guys are working and they're working pretty quick and they're marketing perfect recipe for a nice growing explosive business model tectonic what's tectonic if we go to the actual um website tectonic it's um uh, tectonic is a cross-chain money market for earning passive yield and uh, accessing instant instant backed loans for people that want to earn lend and earn on that on lending um uh, this is what tectonic is going to do and it's a cross-chain money market on the chronos chain so things are looking good man uh, i don't even know to be honest with you i've been kind of um uh, lost of all trying to cover all the um all the developments on uh, crypto.com but again um it's pretty exciting i love talking about it let me know if you have any questions in the comments and i'll try my best to actually look into it i appreciate you guys watching make sure you subscribe for um vvs hopefully daily updates now vvs and crypto.com and everything in that ecosystem and uh stay smart man stay smart thank you guys for watching have a great day.